Alright, do a top view real quick. Here's the top view. Open up the hood, show you how the turn signals install. Alrighty. That's how it looks with the turn signals in there. As you can see, there's a little tiny, tiny, maybe a quarter inch gap from my headlight to the nose, which will fill in just fine with the, the cover on. Uh, this is a stock car. I haven't messed with any of the fittings of the headlights, fenders, nothing. It's all stock, and I wanted to keep it stock, the lines. That way I can know exactly how it's going to fit on this car. But every car is a little different, you know, people have painted the cars, changed out the headlights, moved them around, moved the fenders around and stuff, so every car is going to fit a little different. But yeah, I love the way the turn signals came out, real easy. See that you got two holes there to mount, there's where it goes, it just sits right in place. Screw it into there, put a little nut in the bottom, and you're done. And as you can see, I made it where this line lines up here all the way across and that's part you put some sticky on there all the way across the border and that's what's going to hold down your uh, plexi and you're going to use something like this this is a 3M super strength molding tape it's not that thick and you just run it across your border and then believe me this stuff's really sticky once it's on there it's not coming off with the wind and then you just put your your uh, covers on. Same thing on this side. Real easy to install. Just fits right in place. Okay. You gotta remember, there's a lot of uh, thick primer in there. So you gotta smooth that all out. So it's it's kind of. But that's it. You put the screws in. You take your uh, plexi covers. Put the tape around there. 3M tape all the way around the border, put them down. All right, so there's the covers in. And again, they don't fit too good because they were made for the other 2-3 season. You can see, because I trimmed, trimmed that out a little bit, you know, less than a quarter of an inch, but it's enough for it to not fit good. And I kind of had to fit it under the headlight for a second there. slightly touching here but the fit for that is real good and this is with no spacer if I added a spacer I'm sure that gap would clean up even more let's check this side same thing on this side I'd have to actually trim the top of this a little more because it's hitting the headlight but overall it's, it's pretty flush it's almost flat I mean I could have went a little deeper but as long as it's somewhat flat with the bumper on that's all I care about and that's got paper on it too so I might have to make it a little deeper I, I don't know find out once I put this on but this is not that thick so we'll see all right just for testing purposes I'm gonna put just a couple of little pieces of the double-sided 3m tapes and I'm gonna I just peeled off the backing in the front and I'm gonna stick it on there I'm gonna see how how the fit is all right got that thing on there and it's it's pretty flush here where I have the sticky and where I don't have the sticky it's slightly but that's because it's not sticking so it's not pushing it down so I think it's dialed in pretty pretty good other than here because it doesn't fit it's hitting the corner but where it is touching it's nice and flat where the sticky is so that tells me that this is a perfect fit I probably just need to work on you know the the roundness here a little more the edges but yeah it seems pretty flush now in all reality once this, this bumper is painted your whole car is painted you, you're gonna put these in it's gonna be one of the last things you do you're gonna run the tape all the way around the border well I, that's what I'm gonna do I know a lot of people do it different ways. You could just put two screws, two screws if you wanted to, and then put some tape run down the middle. But um, that's how I'm going to do it. I'll do this other side and I'll take another video. 
All right, guys, got those things. The turn signal's in there, and they came out perfect, nice and flush. Sorry if it's blurry video. I don't know what's up with this camera. All right, guys. Turn signal covers installed. You can see very little gap, but the little gap I do have, I actually like. I will keep it that way. I won't be fixing it. This is with no spacer added. Direct bolt on. It's actually not even bolted on. It's just taped on with two pieces of blue tape. And it's almost perfect. On the sides. Check the side out. Tiny bit high here, but that's no big deal. It'll get a little sanding block and sand that down real quick, and then you'll have it perfect. I'd rather have it a little bit high there anyway than low. You can always sand a high spot down, but if it's low, you got to add filler in that. A lot of people don't like to add filler. But yeah, it's it's looking really really good. Ah. I get a real low view of it. I'm happy. That's what's going on in my car. The season one knows. I'll check it out with the turn signals on right now. I'll turn on the lights. Lights are on. You can it's it's daytime so it's hard to see they're on, but they're on. You can faintly see them during the day. Again, this one don't have no sticky here, so it looks like it's up, but it, put some sticky in there and be nice and flush. I only put little pieces here and there, but yeah, you can see them. But definitely not super bright because it's daytime. But at night time, you'd see them just fine. I was going to put a little bit thicker than 1 8 inch plexi turn signal covers, but now after seeing how barely you can see the light during the day, I better not. I better leave it that size. Turn signals on. It is visible, so try to get a far away shot. Yeah, it's visible, guys. I'm able to see the lights. So that's all I needed to know. Everything's getting ready to go.